What is that? Click that. We're doing great. All right. Are you ready? Yes. <gasps> Ta da! Look! <laughs> God. That is the cutest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I swear. It is pretty cute. Okay, let me get Cozy on my way. The cats are up to no good. Are ready? <laughs> I think, I think, I don't know. Lila, how do you... I don't... How invested in this particular horror adventure is Lila? You know, it has a... Not a slow start, but it has a start that takes a while, so let's just dive into it. Uh, you want to take out the volume? Okay, you think it's loud? Yes. All right. I think voice is like all this screaming. Hi Helmet, how are you? Alright, am I am I on par with the video game now? You're just in my helmet. Say it, say it. I think again. Now this is just the music. Um You guys are much quieter than Yeah, I guess everything on the menu is counted as sound effects. Okay. Abe is louder than you. Yeah, I'm sitting farther away. So I need to scream a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. Okay, just making sure. Um, some music. Let's turn music up. Let's do it. Uh, and then sound effects. Sure. So anyway, everything about this game is very unpleasant, uh, which makes it a very good horror game. Keep it all down. Keep it all down. Keep it all down. Okay. Okay. Bring that down a bit more. Here, can I move this? Sure. Alright, the microphone's being moved now. Are you... is this in your face? No. Okay. Okay. How's that? Let's try that again. That's better? I think we're doing better. We're doing... You know, right. I can listen to... You can also listen <laughs> to the stream. <laughs> I just thought about that. You have to say words now. I knew because... I do have to say words because yeah. you're listening, and and now you get to see how long that fun delay is. It's really not that delay, uh, which is what's fucking me up. Oh no. I think we're good. Okay. I'll keep listening for a second. Okay. Yeah, but you can start. So anyway, do y'all know anything about this game, generally? Um, it was a lot of fun getting the PC port of this game to run because, oh boy, did they not even try with it. It has a fun thing where the V-Sync uh, caps the frame rate at 30 FPS. Cap said he was terrified of it. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, it's a pretty good spooky game. But yeah, and I've played it before, so we're going to be playing it on hard because hubris is a very fun thing. So. Do 
Hugh, Hugh. Oh, hubris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was so confused. God, the like, the so many noises of the menu to the nothing of the loading screen. <laughs> Get fricked. Get fricked. <coughs> so anyway, here's our here's our fun cast of characters. Isaac Clark, that's us. Engineering and Chip Systems, Kendra Daniels, and Zachary Hammond. Isaac, it's me. And this I is none of those people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. Oh, I hate it. I wish I could just talk to someone. I don't belong to party here. I can't believe what's happening. That's strange. Such a little thing. That good ASMR sound. Mm hmm. Did it really all pick so up? How many times you watched that? Oh thing? my god. Yeah. <laughs> Guess you really miss her. Don't worry. Oh man, I'm glad her hair is no longer possessed. Earlier today, her oh, hair god, shot through the ship. Yeah, so the PC port for this game. Sinking our orbit now. I'll, I'll talk after All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. EG7 is a gold mine, according to prospectors reports. Mm -hmm. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. This seems fine. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency I mean... maintenance team of the USG Kellyan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're gonna need to boost the signal if their power's yes, low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. God. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think oh, with a thousand sucks. people on board, someone would pick up the phone. We're beautiful. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Mm -hmm. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. Definitely you not, just like a ship full of flashes. 48 stuff. hours max. All right, you're the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Sure, yep, just go right on in. No further questions asked. I have nothing to say about this. Do I even blink? Oh man. <laughs> they forget to let my boy blink. Oh, you're so dry. I, yeah, sorry, his eyes are so dry. <laughs> I never realized that they never gave our boy blinking. Do you think in the sequel they added blinking? That's face tail. Now with damper eyes. I don't think I ever want to hear that <laughs> referred to as damp. What? what the hell were you thinking? Were you so trying you to do get not want to think I of making his eye dampening. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed no. right into the side of the Ishimura. By definition. It's wild because... I'm not getting any readings from the port booster. And we've lost comms and autopilot. Yes. It'll take some time. It's weird because right. I have Let's a voice actor in this game. Like me as the character Isaac Clark. But I do not say words. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. Nice. All right. We've still got a job to do. We're moving out. So anyway, that green bar along our spine is our health bar, because that's how this video game works. It has been so long since I've played this video game. 
You didn't lose power to the port booster. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. And is now the oldest serving with 62 years of continuous service. It holds the record for highest number of planet cracks with 30 tour to date and highest dead weight of refined product at 14 trillion kilotons and counting. Whether you'll be joining us aboard the issue... Guess the power's down everywhere. Isaac, get over here and hack the door pad. That's what I'm here for. I'm the hacker boy. Beep boop, beep boop. Please, thank you. You're welcome, everybody else. Y'all wouldn't be here if it weren't for me. I'd still be out there. So anyone, it, like, everyone's on lunch break, eh? Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah, for lunch. Yeah, <laughs> there's not. There's nobody here. Nobody here. Can't pick up any broadcasts. Have you tried turning off your thing and turning it back on again? Alive. I'm Isaac, also tech in, support. See what you can find. Oh, okay. Get that elevator back online. More hacker voice, I'm in. Sure, okay. Somebody must have spilled some. Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out. Let's get that computer to so, somebody got juicy over here, huh? We all have juice accidents sometimes, you know. Some of us more dramatically than others. I'm not one to judge. It's lunch break, you know. Huh? That doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. The tram system's offline. Getting around's gonna be difficult. The air seems to be flung again. That's a start. Hmm. I just remembered that I turned this video game on hard. What the hell was that? Automatic oh. quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Uh oh, Everybody which one of us is sick? What was that? Did uh oh, sure. somebody's a sick person. What the hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. Them. Don't know though. Jesus! Over fire! Over fire! What's all of these? Isaac, That's a great question. There. We're just sort of running right now. Um, because you know what? We don't have time to ouch ask questions. We just want to hit E and uh one of them did scratch us. Let's see, we did we did lose a little bit of pain. Oh, okay. So anyway, this is Dead Space, um, and that was the beginning of the game. And yeah. Oh, even more. That good? Yes. That's how delayed it is, by the way. Oh my god. Hold on, let me refresh. Let me refresh. You have to remember, this is my, my like, eight-year-old laptop. This is no, true. This is, this is a... Oh, somebody's crying. This is like a... six-year-old laptop. Somebody's crying. Cutie. What's that? I think somebody's having a bad time. Should I? Do you think it has something to do with all the things I've been seeing? Or do you think it's unrelated? I think it's completely unrelated. I think that they're having an independently terrible day. Unrelated to all of the goings on. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think they just got dumped. Fuck. Well, anyway. Oh, that... Ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, see, he was sad for other reasons, but I think he is... Okay. Uh, uh, 
Okay, let's try to save the boy. Okay, okay. We're saving, saving him. Nope, 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 nope. You can see it's hard, so it takes like 900 bullets. Jesus. Oh my god, the door just closed. Fuck. Sit down! And see, like, I am voice active. But I say no words. I just grunt. What a good video game. Alright, so anyway. So, whatever his issue was before all of this went down. I do think it is related now to the ongoing sort of... Um... Flash party? Flash party? I don't, I don't know how to describe this. How do you describe this? I don't know if flash party is the way to describe it. It's this. just sort of getting wacky with the, with the, with the whole scene, you know? Well, anyway, oh, that's a hand. I know, right? Boy, somebody had a juice disaster for sure, huh? Lunch break. Getting wacky. Getting wacky with the flash. Ooh, I don't like any of the noises I'm hearing. Nice. Yoink. Now are they gonna force me to use this one? Good, no. So I have six bullets. Last time I did fight one of them, it did take ten. So this is gonna be fun. Get back! How, like, rare is ammo in this? Um, rarer on hard. I, <laughs> I oh, guess hey guys. it's fair. God, I can't believe you made it. I think they I actually did. made less ammo drop on hard. We more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? What? I'm great, dude. I'm living my best they? life. Yeah. I got a gun. Keep your voice um. Here. Whatever they are, they're not friendly. And half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. I got a med pack. Now we have to get to the bridge. But first, we gotta repair the tram system. Sure. You're Wait, crazy. what? Hammond, you're gonna yeah, trains? <laughs> Listen to me. Yeah, I'll trains. Get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong with the tram? Yeah. There's also a broken tram. <coughs> I have like something stuck in my throat. Mm. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. We can't, but you can. I, I can. If I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. Sure. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole. Okay. He never told me why I'm fixing the train. But I guess we're conductors now. We're <laughs> just the conductors. We're just conductors. Need the data board to do the tram. And which is which is a future word for train. This is one of those games where you do just loot everything that isn't nailed down. I am gonna save over. Yes. This all seems awesome. You know oh wait, what was that? So, listen, the blue line. So fun fact, this is luckily a very good game for people like me who are directionally challenged. Because if you're ever lost, you just hit the B button on your, on your fun keyboard. And look at that, that's pointing me towards where the important thing is. Which in this case is in fact um, my hat for being a conductor. Need a new hat for it. This helmet isn't gonna work. This is the hat for helmet. <laughs> Gotta take it off, put on the train hat. That seems fine. Yep. So do you think do you think it's like for sure, Dad? I think it should have gotten up by at this point. You'd think, you know? But no. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cut off the limbs, you know? 
is it's an old adage. My grandma told me that. I cut off the limbs. This key is me. You know, this game tells you like 17 times to cut off the limbs. Because that's the fun gimmick of this game, is that you have to cut off the uh, limbs of the creatures. Headshots are, for the most part, meaningless. Um, that's why, rather than getting sort of a more conventional gun, I have this, which is a plasma cutter. Which is actually used for mining. Because this is a deep space mining ship. So yeah, this game is very alien. It's very system shock. It's very... Uh, Event Horizon. It wears a lot of its inspirations on its sleeve, but it mixes them in a really fun way. I'm saving again. I was about to say. I, I, I oversave in this game just because uh, every time I walk away from the save thing, I get scared. This is Benson, Tram Engineering. Um, we think we figured it out. Smith figured killed it out. one. Nice. Listen, forget about shooting him in the body. Oh, yeah. You gotta cut off the limbs. Oh, Grab a cutter, anything that. like that. Cut oh, him cutter. apart. Nice. But anyway, yeah. The game really uh, needs you to know that. I mean, that's kind of the whole mechanic of the game, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Did, like, a monster leave him hit there? I guess. Uh, okay. Nice. I guess, it, are they cats? Do they leave presents? Oh my god. Be careful. They're just giant the cats. Oh yeah? Go for the limb. Go for the limb. That should do the job. You know? Oh. Oh, I see. You know. Cutie, listen. Don't quote me on this one, but I think in this video game you're supposed to uh, not be supposed to go for the limbs. Okay, I, I, what, would, what would tell you that, though? You know? So this is the train. This is actually, fun fact, our house now. Um, because we are... Ooh, was that a whisper? That was a fun... Huh? God, you know, I've never worn headphones this nice playing this game, and boy, does it just love to whisper things at you. <laughs> um, because, you know, really scary. But no, yeah, this game... That's fine. This game uh, scared the bejesus out of me when I was younger. Um, but I've, at this point, played it a number of times, so it's not nearly as scary as it once was. But I still do like to play it around the Halloween times. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> and see, this is one of our powers, is because we're a sci-fi boy, we can do time magic. So... Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah. I've come to talk with you. But we do have time magic. Listen, hear me out. Please go away, thank you. Looks like that door is malfunctioning, Isaac. Oh, yeah? Try using the stasis module you just picked up. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Nice. So stasis packs let us refill our stasis module. God, I hate. Well, anyway, time to save. Yeah, fun fact, if you do get kilt, which is when this fun little bar on my back uh, goes to the, the red, um, you go back to wherever your last save point. No god, no fear, N no god, no fear. Get it? It's like, deep. Hashtag I'm 14 and this is deep. <laughs> um. I just need to go to the bathroom, guys. Like, Jesus. Nice toilet med pack, always trustworthy. You can tell it's the future because they got square toilets. Yeah. Beep boop. Search and rescue. Dear God, keep us safe from monsters. Amen. Why? Okay, I'm assuming, like, these are knocked down, right? These are not the default positions of these goddamn bathroom mirrors. Are they even mirrors? 
I think they're, are they just metal plates? They just look you like know, metal plates. You know, you just put your metal, we'll check the other one. Nice. Okay, ooh, nice. Toilet ammunition. Best kind. Yeah, they're just toilet plates. Oh god. That one got me a little bit, see? Because I was staring at the toilet plates. So deep. <laughs> I'm just a little bit slow on those. <laughs> so anyway, should I save? Nah. Well, I don't want to redo the toilet plates. <laughs> oh my god. If I get killed by a spooky monster, I don't think I want to go back into that bathroom. Now, let's hit that fun B button. Okay. I saw my own shadow and got scared. Six more weeks of winter. I'm so sorry. Now, fun f oopsies. Fun fact of Um, That's a complete alphabet for all of this writing throughout the game. And you can actually translate it. Um, and yeah, this isn't the only place it appears. Like, it's also here. And it'll appear throughout the game. But yeah, if you... If you have the spare time, you can go through. I mean, most of them are, are generic spooky stuff. I think some of them have stuff that could be... Ooh. God, so many juice accidents, eh? So many people just getting juicy on the walls. Thought I heard something. Anywho. Oh, this room. I don't remember this. Your stasis module should be able to help you with that arm mechanism. Nice. Bonk. I mean, this is just how trains do, you know? Like, so this is actually how baby trains are made, fun fact. Um. <laughs> And then in three months, oh, no. a, a train will give birth. <laughs> Great. Huh. Hold on. Let's see, you can like stun and do gun tricks. Just one. I think I got that one. I shot off its, uh, its fun arms. I think I got it though. Oh Jesus. No. Uh, I have to admit, every time I see that emote, I do think it is a cat mode. Get alert for a bit, have a good lurk. Have a good lurk, and think about trains, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the whole system. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. Let's see. It's all about trains. Oh, I hate it. Else. 
they just I think the monsters also do appreciate the value of a good train you know <laughs> they all were coming and they all just wanted to see a new train being born the mysteries of life excuse me I was about to say. <laughs> sure. It's casual. No worries. Yeah? How, how are you doing? Oh. Okay. Alright. Well, anyway, I'm sure I'll never see that thing again. Ready for more ASMR ice sounds? Yes. Alright, so now we are. The captions heard ASMR I sounds. Yikes. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Just loud blinking. Bonk. See? And. And away we go. Hey. And this is a. And see the train's up there now. The normal train. Oh, that sucks. Later. Gotta go play least. Oh, look, it's that boy. It's just sort of doing donuts. Oh my god, I hate it. Stop. I'm taking away your arm. Actually, it looks like guns don't, or enemies don't draw less ammo in this one. I think that might be the sequel. So, we are at least alright in that regard. But it does take a lot more ammo to kill things. But yeah, and see, this game does use backtracking, and that's why some of the lockers in some rooms are like red because you go back later and hey it's that box system. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he moved a bit the data board should be somewhere inside now i can try and get him down listen he may be stuck it's one of those things where it's like it's it's like you get your arm stuck in like a vending machine like i think it might be one of them so yeah, unfortunate. See, that's the that's a that's a juice a, a juice riot gone wrong. Excuse me. Oh, I gotta go there now. And see that now that thing can't spook us because we already did kill it. So. I think you still need to find to the data enough. board to the tram mm -hmm. computer. It's yeah. in the maintenance bay. Glad everyone in this game is just like, hey, remember what you're doing. You? Yeah, okay, so you can move while while aiming your 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 weapon of choice in this game. I've been playing uh, the Resident Evil games and some of those games can be a bit funny with moving and fire. Isaac, it's Kendra. Who else would it, it looks be? Looks like the door to the storage room is locked. There should like, be honestly. somewhere in the maintenance bay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just like God. You don't need to keep reminding me who you are. Yeah. Boy, this room seems very big, and I already see two boys. One of you is getting time for us. I'm sorry. Now the other one. And I... Got him on the whippy dick? No. Okay. Oh, no. Missed. Okay. Jump that ball. So that's fun. So gosh darn many of these boys. Excuse me, I need more. More of the am ammunition. More of the, more, more of the gun juice, please. Are there any more? Or is this the final?
what? Huh? How? How many bullets do I have now? Uh, ten. Nice. Now, see, I they te it's acting as though there are no more boys in this room, but I do not believe them. It's for my. See, like I heard that noise. I see you. You cannot. Do not. Any others? Oh, ouch! Somebody else who was right behind me, eh? Oh no, this one. I just uh, well, I uh, was too quick to think he was dead. Well, that was a fun lesson in 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 Hugh Briss, our good friend, good friend of the channel. Check him out. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Oops, I know, that way. But I don't care. But you don't care. Well, like, I want to see if any of them are, like... I need to... Okay. Fine. I want to see if, like, any of the uh, vents will just pop a boy out when I walk by and I want to take him out right now. I see. Rather than later on when I'm going back through here. Bet a boy's going to pop out here, hey? I am. See, this is this game. It's like, are there any boys left? They could be anywhere. I'm sorry? Oh yeah, and fun fact, <laughs> you're not paused while uh, you look through your inventory. All right. We're actually doing shockingly well, all things considered. I think part of it is that now I'm anticipating how many uh, rounds it's going to take. The first time I tried hard, I just could not, could not believe it. So where is that key though? I've been getting distracted. Because I know you eventually go to that room. Um, but you do have to go down here. up here. Okay. Excuse me. Bless you. And that's money, which there is a store in this game and it is just vending machines. Now see, listen here. I see I see what you've done. Very creative. I appreciate it. But no. Are you, do you feel ashamed? No? Okay. Still? I need to upgrade. I need to upgrade this. This here plasma cutter to do more of the plasma cutting. That's right. This is the one where. Yep. You're. Anybody over here? Yeah. I think you got a friend there now. Oh, there you go. This goes. is a casual thing. Don't worry about. Um, let's see. What did I just use? I think I used a med pack on accident. But whatever. It's because your mouse has all the uh, side buttons, which are bound to random things in this game. <laughs> uh, so I do keep random. Like one of do them. Do you want to change it to like be the numbers? Just the numbers. What do you mean? Like, okay, so they're currently oh. all set to my Photoshop presets. Oh, my God. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just keep rolling with the Photoshop and just see where that takes us, okay. you know? So, this tells us a lot about the lore of this game. God, and then there's just one right behind us. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, yeah. not quite right behind us. Not yet, at least. But definitely right over there. Oh no, there it is. Ooh, okay, do I have more bullets? Ooh. 
And something that the enemies do in this game. Look at that. He has like a tail. What the? I don't know if that's a tail. Like that's that's between the back. You know, that's a tail. Mm, uh. Like, that's how a tail do. <laughs> sure, we'll go with it. God, every time the elevator opens, I think another, another beautiful child has emerged to make our day even better, you know? Oh, I hate it. Oh, no. That felt. Too, too, too much. I'm going up there. You see, now I'm supposed to be up here. And I hate the noises. Okay. Somebody did have a juice accident in here, which is unfortunate. Um, data board acquired. That's what I needed for my train mission. So as you can see, I'm going to be doing trains now. I do like this window. It gives me a sense of, of security and all of this, you know. In this juice accident vent, it's fine. Yeah, so the bench is where you upgrade your 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 laser gun to, to be better at shooting. What is that noise? Jesus Christ. Yoink. And now, we can upgrade our gun. So yeah, they let you upgrade all your stuff, but gun is really what we're focusing on. Um, sure damage. And then, and then we can also upgrade, this is how we upgrade our health, and then if we do, if we want to do more stasis stuff, we can increase the duration of it or uh, make it so we have more charges. But yeah, so, and there, there are these power nodes and it's one per socket, but you also can use them to unlock treasure rooms throughout the game. Uh, so it's usually good to have one on you. Can you define treasure rooms for me? Yeah, they're literally just rooms that require a power node to get into that are full of miscellaneous loot. Oh, okay. That's it. Well, that's cool. Yeah. They're exactly what they sound like. So I'm sure everything's fine in here still. We have... We have the board. I don't... I don't necessarily want to leave this room. Um... Because it's so much bigger out there. That's it, Isaac. Thanks. Oh, for fuck's sake. Array. Okay, can you... Can, can you not right now? I'm kind of busy. I have a feeling that wasn't it. Oh. And what they'll do in this game, this delightful video game, um, is that if you don't notice it, um, they're not gonna start playing the music yet. <laughs> oh my god. So that's the thing, is uh, the music starts playing once you notice it. At least in my experience. Um, well, yeah, no, like when they were hiding. Yeah. Like there wasn't really any music, and then as soon as I looked over. Um, which is fine and fun. It's good to know that the game's on my side in this, you know? <laughs> I hate all the noises, and I'm not going to turn around and look yet. Now I will. No. Ah, frick you. you. Oh, hi, hi, banana. I'm not saying frick you to you. I'm saying frick you to this absolutely rude boy who decided to jump scare me. I actually got away with that because I'm so used to all the corpses about. Because, gosh, these guys just love trains, I guess. Because I'm the conductor of on this little ship called the Ishimura, the USG Ishimura, excuse me, the man in the intro was very, very, uh, 
insistent that you do say USG before Ishimura. Um... It's the boat's first name. Oh shit. Well, this seems a little bit different than before. Was that always like that? You know, if I had to say, I think. Oh, whispers are back. Yeah. Well, anyway, I feel safe. Time to save my game. It's very fruitful. I think I think some of them are just Bible quotes. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I hated that. Oh, I freaking hated that one. Listen, I hated, listen, that shadow behind me, I hated it. Where are you? I want to fight you because you did, that one was a good one, you know? God. Now we're back. Welcome back to trains, everybody. Gonna save again. All right, and see now I do put the part in the. See, I I did. We could we put the good train on the tracks, and now we put. Yep. Nice. Trains acquired. Beep boop. Call train. Future train. Train system reinitialized. All trains now operational. Train arriving at flight deck station. Nice. Also, the quarantine was lifted because of the train. All right, we're on board and heading to the bridge. Good work. I did it. Strange. The quarantine just lifted. Whatever was in the flight lounge must have left. That's lucky for us. Is it? Isaac, get back to the Kellyon and prep it for launch. We'll find out what we can from the bridge and meet D you there. Did you it's see the ship? <laughs> You're out of your league, Hammond. This is suicide. We're going your to die out here. Your lack of confidence in me is really <laughs> noted, Miss Daniels. But I have a mission to complete, Welcome and that's back. exactly what I am going to we do. We have a mission to complete, um, Mr. Hubris. Each other. Just get us out of here alive. Okay. I guess that's my job? <laughs> Who? Okay. Oh, I'm covered in blood. Oof. Good luck. It's good. Um, the, the physics has only, only been a little, a little sketchy so far. So that's been fun. We, um, I think married a train, so that's fun. Um, and now we are going to prep our ship to leave this place because guess what? We we repaired the train. That's all we were really needed for, I guess. They just had train issues. <laughs> Everything else seems fine. I'm not used to how big your keyboard is. I bet you're not. I use I use a tiny little baby laptop. It's true. God, I hate all like the music is so good. It's one of those things where it's like, God, I love this game, but fuck this game sometimes. <laughs> God, another juice accident. I think we're actually going back. This is the original juice accident. So remember when uh, there was like two corpses here? Where'd they oh, go? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, where'd they go? Hey, yeah, where did they go? Well, anyway, this is the cut off their limbs room. As you can see, it has had a rough last 30 minutes. Yeah. I I guess this was really holding the room together, sort of feng shui style. And me removing it, just sort of everything started to fall to pieces. It's sort of like I, I took away the slab, which was this plasma cutter. Okay. 
I just I just make the elevator go back down. <laughs> just like, sounds good. I'm out. Yeah, sure. Are, are you sure that's the way I gotta go, game? Because <laughs> I did just see him. Sort of. God. He looks so silly, you know, with his little baby arms. But I do feel like I am gonna be ambushed any moment. Well, thank you for that one, I guess. Like, now I don't feel safe. More? Yeah. Yeah, no, there's very... A lot of... This game was actually really inspired by a mix of Resident Evil 4 and System Shock 2. And I'm so there's a bit. Dishonored, and I was like, no, it's not. And then I was like, no, I'm thinking Dishonored. Yeah, and so um, it uh, it very much does also have sort of a Bioshock flavor with the music. So remember, this is the original Juice Room. That was so long ago. We were so young back. Oh, okay. We made it to the bridge. It's a nightmare up here. No survivors. No survivors. We're going to try to get to the command computer. Okay. Wish us luck. Roger that. I'm gonna go look at our boat. And now I have punching abilities. So, frick all these people stuck. Um, but yeah. We're just in chapter one, new arrivals. I think there are like 15 goddamn chapters to this thing. Yeah. It goes places. This seems like it's gonna be good and cool. Oh, what was that noise and where did it come from most of the time? Oh, okay. I think it's on the walls. Well, now it's not. And I think it is just going to start running at me and there's the... God, a lot of noises with this one. I think it's out now. That tears now on the drain. Got him. So anyway, that's our ship. The I think I think we're gonna make it out of here. I mean, we don't need that. Who needs it? Not us. We just need this part. And we're good to go. So, I'm the engineer, so listen, just give me like five minutes and just like a bottle of oil. And I got this. Just a whole bottle of oil. I gotta drink it. It's my engineering fuel. Excuse me. <laughs> Do I want to load a damage report? Do I want to know how bad it is? Sure. Oh. <laughs> Mine is the leaded stuff that's destroyed, that destroyed the earth, like, a little bit. The good stuff, you know? Remember that time that we really wanted to make cars go fast, so we just sort of burned a hole in the ozone layer? Yeah. Good times. Anyway, I think our boat's dead. And, hey, though, it looks like they're saying, listen, we hear that your boat's dead, and we want to say that you're welcome to stay on this boat. I do love the jumps, you know? Just about oh my oh my god. 
That was our ride home. It's the only way off the ship. It's true. Kendra. No, Hammond! This changes everything! Well, it was already kind of goofed, guys. I think we, we really fucked up when we heard all the garble garble and then decided it's we're gonna no go good. in There's on this There's an executive ship. lockdown of all primary systems. Without the captain's authorization, we should have probably I can't access them. Well, did like the a captain? quick Google. Gave it just an outer look see before. I don't know. Just like really, I feel like there was more we could have done before getting to where we are. <laughs> like, it just feels like we, we thought. Find the captain and you'll find his rig. With his authorization codes, I can crack this computer wide open. Damn it. Isaac, I'm sending the tram back to your location. Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. What was that? Oh. I just fought like seven of them. I think you guys are going to be fine. Like, look at this goddamn bridge. Why is that so loud? So now you'll notice we have access to here, because that's the train. That's right, everybody. We get to finally see the fruit of all of our actions. We get to ride the train. Oh boy, I'm excited. Another juice accident I see. And over there, that one looks mighty right down. No. No. My inventory's full. Oh my god. No. Um. Frick. Um. Back over here. Hold on. <laughs> the store is soon. Not the train that I married, I think, and that might be an issue, actually. I should probably check. Because there was the train we married, I think. It's all very confusing. Is it like one bullet over or something? Oh my god. Ah, oh, yeah. Another bathroom. Oh, bathroom was bad. Because you're waiting till marriage to ride. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, even the sinks are square. Hell yeah. That's how we know we're in the future, baby. Now, this is a properly lit bathroom. I can respect this. Although, this is not a lot, like, of privacy. Because the sink people can just see. Y'all forgot. But there's no mirrors. There's so no... their backs are turned. I guess. <laughs> but that's, like, doors are a thing we invented. That I know y'all know about. Because look at it. <laughs> anyway. And now the, the women's room. Which doesn't have anything in it. I was hoping for some sort of like bathroom ammunition. I know they know about doors. I just went through one mere moments ago. I can't imagine what going to the bathroom on this ship must feel like. Capitalism ahoy! Excuse me. So yeah, this is the train. I don't... What's that I smell? <laughs> is it... A cutie pie? Thank you for your subscription with Prime! Thank you for the Prime subscription. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing today? We are getting spooked. And look at that. I got a new outfit. It's the train outfit for train boys. Let's do it. <laughs> 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 
And now we do step inside of it, um, which is awfully trusting of us. Like, hey, okay, sure. I don't know about y'all, but this is how I get dressed. <laughs> and now I'm in a slightly different outfit with more plating because of the trains. All right, and yeah, that gave me more inventory slots and armor. Let's go ahead and... God, I forgot how not great the inventory is in this first one. We definitely do not need that. We just don't even have enough health to make use of them at this point. Um, and then... Yoink. I think the, the hype where the, 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 the stream boss keeps popping up. Oh my god. You can go to sleep? Go get some go sleep. To sleep. Night, night. night. We're gonna be here, uh, deading the space. You know how it is. Smile. Anyway, time to go on the train. We've earned it. We fixed the train. Speed, light speed. Flash. Wait, what? That does just say flash, right? That does say flash. Hmm. Available May 1st. Ah, oh, shit. See, that's the issue. It's May 2nd. Flash just came out. Everyone's really excited. Lonely? Solar Center. Oh. Hmm. Flash. Flash. <laughs> There's always Pang. Pang. Oh, always. Remember, guys, there is always Pang, and Flash is arriving on May 3rd. I would not drink a sports drink that was called Flash. Flash! <laughs> I don't... I don't... I'm, I'm confused by it, but... Alright, um, let's save in a new slot, because we're moving on to a new chapter. Oh wow, did you see that loading screen? Neither did I. Jesus. This is a very fast computer you have. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Shh. Shh, it's alright, McCoy. He's here. I'm here. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing. <laughs> I knew you would come. Just like you said. Yeah, I'm the train guy. Save this. Oh. For you. Sure. Can I go now? Why wants to take me? Can I shut up? Okay. Oh, she did just sort of go floppy. Oh. Okay. So anyway, Just now I have mind powers. Oh, good. That's what she gave That's us. That's what she gave you? Yes. With her life essence? Well, not really with her life essence. More so just she had it on her and handed it to us and then died. The life essence is sort of unrelated, but she doesn't have the eyes anymore. Oh. Okay. So this is medical. Um, so we're sort of at the heart of, of where everything sort of first went fucky. But... Our GF Nicole, who, by the way, we've been looking for this whole time on that intro video. She was a doctor, so if she's going to be anywhere, you know, it's going to be, um, going to be fine. Fill the body in the med bay. Oh, we're going to need to do a lot of reports. All right. I think three med packs is what I'm gonna go with. Let's see how much inventory I have. Cause notice we did just get those other three. Cause this fancier suit has more pockets, fun fact. For train things. Excuse me. Pick up schematics. 
I will turn the pockets then. I missed an IRL and yeah. I was like, I'll catch it on the on the video. So anyway, now we have a flamethrower. Um, well, we can buy a flamethrower, capitalism, and all that. Okay, Jesus, dude. No ringtone? We were attacked. Yeah. Kendra's gone. I saw. She was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's the records, and we'll find Nicole. We can do it if we try. It's Looks like the, the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. You and I. We have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage and sure. a shock pad from zero G therapy. Okay. Should be down the corridor. Sounds good. Communication is useless in all this static. Well, anyway, I have to blow through this door and see. I need the thermite bomb to get through this ding dang place to get to the captain's body because he has the key thing that we need to like stop the ship from exploding or whatever. Shit really fell to pieces. Anyway. This life support seems to be supporting. Alright. Time for medical. What time is it? What time is it? The yeah. time is 7.10. Oh boy. So see? It's chapter two, intensive care. Time to go to research. Authorized science personnel only. I mean, I'm a doctor of trains. All weapons have an alternate firing mode. Okay. 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 Science? Where would you be without science? Jesus, huh? Um, what? Learning about Jesus in church. What? Probably in church, if not for science. I guess. <laughs> That's what helmets are in check. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. You know, there are a lot of noises happening, which seems really rude. Now... Unfortunately, this is the ideal male perform. This is it. Read it and weep. This is the alternate slim version. Um, it has less, I think, uh, SSD room. So yeah. <laughs> Anomaly detected. Ooh. Quarantine activated. Quarantine activated. I feel safer already. Feel safer. It's a lady. Um, fun fact. I think they're actually classified as a different enemy because they have a spitting. Yeah, they sort of come out of walls. I think that's not all. Is that? No. Where's our last? Where's our last friend? Are you down there? Yeah. the quarantine. Do I have to like go downstairs and fight things? Uh, I bet I do. Alright, let me loot everything upstairs. It's fine. I will say, and this is something that troubles me about this video game, we'll get there in a little bit after, you know, this mess. Also, you know, hashtag bless this mess. Um. OK. 
Okay. Uh, what happened to all of your legs? I heard somebody like this. See you later. All right. Now, okay, this is the thing that confuses me. I did kill them, and that lifts the quarantine. But, like, they're still here. Like, the hazardous material has not left. Oh, y'all notice this guy had a fun upgrade where his legs couldn't be dismembered off. Yeah. Love that. Wait, I gotta put things in chat. And I am gonna pause this time. I forgot to. Oh my god, TK's playing Morph now. Yeah, you saw that. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a wacky time. Where did he end up getting in fact? Did he finish one or is he still working through it? I can go check. But anyway, in the dead space, we're just sort of, you know, we gotta get the thermite. Um, there is a, like, the, people praise this game a lot, but there is, there is an aspect of this game that is quite fetch questy, which is, I mean, literally what we're doing now. We're just sort of get an item so we can progress through the video game. But you know, it's a Metroidvania. That's how it is. What in God's name is going on down there? I think that's so precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. Almost out. I'm not so sure. Of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The no, marker is glorious and divine. Oh. You, you know that. God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor. Terrence. Terrence. There will always be risk when the Tame stakes it. are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. It could change everything, guys. Um, anyway, so they found, I guess, a thing on the planet. Called a marker. And they all thought it was great. Just the best. And it seems to have not been. Ultimately. Yeah, fun fact. I don't know if the game tells you outright that that exists, but... It is a source of a free gold semiconductor, which can be sold for more of that good, good space money. But the artifact does appear to be a genuine marker. So yeah, uh, Unitology is a religion that sort of they made up for this game. And yeah, they worship, you'll actually see it in the corner above that book, and actually the book has it symbolically, the marker. And they believe, uh, I mean, in essence, this marker could herald the dawn of a new age for mankind, and I will do my part to ensure it comes to pass. I know the church will be grateful. So, this was a mining ship, but um, they had, I guess, other motives. Mainly that they wanted to meet, I guess, um, marker. Jesus, I guess. But would you guess the weird alien artifact did a thing. And now I have to fix all the trains.
But no, yeah, the game is very nice with ammo early on, but when you start to revisit areas later on, uh, things can get a bit more... A bit more desperate, and so right now I'm just I'm picking everything up and I'm gonna put it all in my bank. Yeah. Biological prosthetics, we keep you working. God, what a <laughs> what a what a late stage capitalism poster, eh? <laughs> Anywho, the, ooh, this is where they keep the babies. Hey. Come on, come on. Uh -oh. Let me out. Oh. This is where they keep the babies. So anyway, the babies also do get their own fun, sort of Bulbasaur type thing. Oh. It's sort of a flesh Bulbasaur. Uh. Um, so that's that's now a thing. Oh, and I do have to fight it immediately. Oh my god. <laughs> I do have to immediately fight this flesh Bulbasaur. Although, where'd it go? Oh, it left. Nice. Boy, it really just took his whole gosh darn head off. Oh, it's back. Luckily, much like everything else, cutting off the limbs does work. Oh, and would you look at that? Tifa is now playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Great. So are those meant to be normal babies, or are they already, like... They look a little weird. They, like, they're, they're, they're low res, which is part of it, but I think they're already, like, turning into, like, Bulbasaurs. More bullets. Thank God... So much just loose mining ammunition is laying around, hey? Yeah, see, their bones sort of get all a little goofed. And yeah, I guess that's happening with all of them. Um, but yeah, so that's the marker. I guess. I mean, it could be something else. Could just be like an unrelated infection that also causes people to hear whispers sometimes. Oh. oh, for sure. So much ammo for that. Ugh. bullets do I have? Still ten. Okay. Okay, we're very good on bullets. That just took a lot. Oopies. See, that's definitely... Fun diagrams. Alright. Return to lab. Authorized personnel. And you know what? I feel even more authorized after this quick trip through the old... They got a lot of, of this specific diagram around. Like, how often? Oh, yeah, the thermite. Nice. All right. That thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shock pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Something big. Anywho, back we go. But yeah, and this is sort of dead space. This is the basic sort of dealio with it. We're obviously gonna get like more weapons to fight off this strange alien thing, but we're running around this ship doing our best to, I hate whatever that noise was, to survive. Um, ooh, I hated that. You know, sometimes that is just how it be. Alright, back to, how are you doing? I'm good. Are you just crocheting away? No, I'm, uh, I'm organizing a little bit more. More I so see. than working on. Oh. 
Alright, and now. I thought I had the gosh darn thermite. What are you talking about? That's right, I do have to get the shock pad as well. You know, I feel like I could use something else to ignite it. Like, I think the, the thermite was the important part. I don't know if I need a shock pad. God, I hope I don't run out of ammo, because I did just put almost all of it away. Oh boy. I'm gonna save my game. <laughs> Unrelated. Let's do it. Yeah, so should I come back later? Oof. I'm impressed that he was doing that considering his whole sort of front seemed to be missing. Yeah. Well, anyway. Would you look at that? It's a power node treasure room. Fuck. Thank you. Turn in that power node, and I don't even have to think about that nasty boy who yelled at me outside. Did you? Yes. We found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Do you? He sounds like definitely somebody qualified to practice medicine. On heavy objects that display this symbol. Okay. Serious. Christ, I, like. <laughs> His explanation Harris is asleep after another strong sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people could succumb to exhaustion after 50 plus hours of waking, regardless of any desire to stay awake. Not Harris. He's a special boy. His explanation of events on the colony is also odd, and points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two planet side security officers were present when he took Dr. Scarello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And he doesn't deny his actions. But he insists there was no crime, nor does he feel guilt. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about the murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and tran in, in transient, transigent. 
displaying schizophrenic behavior. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by the other colonists. Harris claims he threatened the doctor because he had to stop the dreams and the faces, and that he'll kill again to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. A most intriguing case. Sure, intriguing. That's a word for it, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, that seems fun. More stuff that seems alright. Beep boop, got a plug in the battery. Yoink. See, now we're not just a train boy, we're an electrician. We've leveled up in the world. Yeah? Pulse rounds for a gun I don't have. Hell yeah. It's time. Mm. Good point. Let's take a break. Right. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright, we'll be right back. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell.
We're back. And... Okay. Boop. It's time. It's still time. Yeah. Alright. Let's go get that shocky pad so that we can um, do an explosion. We're on a very unrelated side quest. <laughs> Let's get this shocky pad to do an explosion to get through a door to get a key so that we can unlock a thing so that we might not infidels. Okay. powers. And now I use the science fiction future power of <laughs> This does double as a spacesuit, which is nice. Boy, this would have been a short game otherwise, huh? Oh my god. Well, this is where it ends. Well, I'm just in space now. Guess why they call it dead space, eh? But look at that, it's space. This game came out in like 2008, by the way. It does look pretty for 2008. Oh, I should probably get inside. <laughs> I do, I don't have oh, infinite oh, yeah. oxygen. Oh, ouch. The character is beginning to gasp a little bit for breath. As you know, the Ishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grav boots will kick in when you enter a zero G area. Are you ready for the zero G zone? It's zero G therapy. I feel better already. That's just okay. And see, this is how you do the zero G. Whee! They, uh, they change it in the sequels. <laughs> they do not have it be this fun, just space leaping. Um, it's a bit wacky in this one. Well, they give you, like, Iron Man floaty powers in the sequels, so it's fine. The replacement is better, but it is a bit silly in this one. Exiting zero gravity. Look at that, it's the shocky pads. I got what I needed. Great, you got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit, I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Yeah. Oh, that's not safe. Excuse me, excuse me, explosion. <laughs> Ooh, where are you? I hear the stinky, I don't see the stinky. I am gonna fly now. That's uh, zero G there. 
now we have the two things we need. Oh boy, and there's a little cat on your computer. Oh, look at that. They can survive out here. That's cool. Good for that. Good for you. That means I'm not even safe in the vacuum of space. Oh my god. Sounds good. So all those noises y'all make, like... Okay, this... Okay, yeah. Sure. Exiting vacuum. Anyway, now we go back, all the way back, to that first, I see you. That was silly. Alright, we do have two. Let's see, we could upgrade. Those are a thing now. God, I could have done stasis. I want to pick up the ammo though, thank you. Glug, glug, glug. So, anyway, that's a thing now. like change things up a bit this time you know I'm playing on hard I might need some extra firepower so anyway I'm buying a new gun But anyway, uh, part of the reason for getting that is I believe getting the weapon means that its ammo will drop out in the world. Um, yeah. And so it can be a nice way to sort of change things up, but it's also just... Oops. Sell the air can. I don't think I'm ever going to need an air can. We do have 16,000, which, you know, we could put towards another power node. 
Um, for now, I think I might just hold on to my money, though. So yeah, now we have two gun. We don't have any bullet for second gun yet. Uh, but we'll start getting bullet for second gun. And yeah, second gun is actually the gun... Should... Uh, sure. That is how explosion works. You're yeah. right. <laughs> okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. I have not forgotten. It, I, I have not forgotten why you're sending me to the goddamn morgue. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. <sighs> these wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get him to the table. Hold him. Not you hold him down. Every quarter. That was Nicole, right? Mm-hmm. I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. You think? Now this is fun. S so, like, something definitely did punch a little bit of a, a hole there. Just a little bit. Let's go to the clinic. Sorry, we are full. Alright, never mind. <laughs> IDK, they don't look good. Yoink, now I have bullets for my new gun. Alright, we'll try using this gun for now. Ate it. Thanks. Oh god. Get prepped. Kids, am I right? <laughs> Jesus. Ah, oh, nice, another nude room. See, I'm glad I held on to it. I hear another. Yep. Oh, there's a third. Jesus. 
menti bullets. Nice. Oh yikes! All the newborns. Well, oh. that's a uh, that's quite the list. So it seems like, further to our previous conversation, I asked the Jalebrian the marker up from the planet for a day or two. You know I'm as keen as anyone to study it in detail, and I understand your sense of urgency, given the events on the colony, but that's why I ask. What's happening down there is just too unique, too unprecedented, oh those words, oh. to cut it short without the proper time to study the causes and effect. In light of a discussion I had with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with Drs. Skyrello and Wellen Planetside to give their observation, to get their observations. From your boy, Terry. Thanks, Terry. You're right, they should have waited, huh? Like a couple of days? But here we are. Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The oh, it's Terry. Concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. But That's the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Well, what a nice big room where only good things happen. As I was about to say. Are you ready? No. 
Oh boy. So that's the captain. As the captain. Anyway, I killed that before it could make more. Because, fun fact, it will actually just go around and turn corpses into more. And these boys are upgraded. Tell. They're extra stinky. Oh, Captain, my Captain, am I right? <laughs> Freaky. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the Captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. Back to, to the train. What the hell happened to the ship? If. This is any indication. It is, oh, it is my sad duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted, and beyond the scope of my role, I can only report on the body. The subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his leukocyte count was very low, with not. Mm, Oh, that one. Is this, uh, no? Is this, is this Ocinophilus? Is Cinephilus? Cinephilus. In particular, almost non existent. His pre flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. However, it is unlikely that that had any effect on his death. Multiple confusions on contusions on the arms and hands, indicating a brief struggle, pre-mortem. Slight contusion around the ribcage, suggesting his chest was restrained in some way. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and finally into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. The force required to puncture the ocular cavity cavity in this manner is great, and the possibility of self-infliction correspondingly low. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unlawful death, whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. So yeah, the captain was murdered. Oh, no. And, and then we double murdered him. Yeah, we did. Because it just got gooed all over. Off to the train we go. Oh good, another nice big room. Where only good things happen. Do I have any ammo yet? No, okay. Oh wait, I've already been in this room. Well, I missed that box, which made me think this was a new room. Because I saw that box and I'm like, this has to be a new room. There's a box in here. I heard that. I didn't like it. And I heard it. Can I get a Pixie Doodle? Oh yeah, there's the Pixie Doodle. So, look at that stinky. Look at that big, old, super powerful stinky. Yeah. I bet he's going to be trouble. Well, anyway, he's standing between me and my destination, so... These boys, gosh. Hey, 
Isaac. Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Nuts. Lifting executive lock down now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Did the baby arms give it away? The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Yeah, you stay there where it's safe. I'll go other places. I think I might honestly, like, buy, uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just buy, like, a couple of these, just to be safe. And an extra method. Just to be safe, and I'll store the rest of my money for now. Back to the train we go. now a new save slot for a new chapter. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh no! Oh. Uh, mm, mm, <laughs> a new save slot for a new chapter. Back to it we go. Alright, let's see if that's a thing that happens all the time. And if that's how far we get in the game Dead Space. Oh no. Oh my god. 2008 Electronic <laughs> Arts. Well, I mean, it saved it. Is it a functioning? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so it broke that save. That save we don't touch anymore. Good to know. The Necromorphs got that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a f what a wacky game, How huh? How much did you lose if that save's just gone? Um, probably only like 10 minutes oh. at max. Um, no, yeah, it wasn't that much. It's just like, oh my god. Cause see, yeah, 8 minutes. Okay. Um, holy moly. In my head, I was like, it's the whole chapter. The whole gosh darn chapter. Now, where was this? I think. Uh, we're a couple fights. Oh my god, are we pre? Yeah. Yeah, we have to do the morgue section again, I think. Well, good to know. I didn't realize it would just kind of... Oh, you're not dead. I like the Tora. So anyway, for anyone uh, who missed it at home, we're now going to redo that fun morgue section. I know. I know. Everyone was posting. Uh, I want to see that morgue section again. Give me more morgue section. And you know what? After much 
much feedback, we've decided to go back in. Once again. That is the capital. I'm, I don't want to look at it this time. Um, that's some bullet. They look God. good. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. Okay. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. Yep. See if that's a just sort of a a sticking point for the game. I really hope not. Me too. Cause there's like a little bit more of this game, I think. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, like three minutes. I know. down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Okay. Alright, this time we're gonna go ahead and save here. Since apparently we can't trust it. Well, hopefully. The game won't just die. That was a fun time, huh? The first time. And then just sort of left. <laughs> God, I'm like ready. You know? I'm ready for it to crash. I'm ready for this to be a consistent thing. Let's see. Save your progress. I might just have to not save my progress, but we'll see. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I can save there. I think I have to wait till after that one, huh? Or it might just die at that cutscene. We'll see. You know? Just, that's it. We can't play anymore. We game. can't play anymore. Sorry, guys. It oh will be released gosh. in 2021. Oh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Let's see here. <coughs> Hello, game. Do intensive care. Look at that. In 20 seconds, the game <laughs> died. That's how long it took. All right. Let's see if let's see if Act Three just doesn't run. I guess. Let's see how bad this PC port is. All right. No saving this time.
I, I did it again. Third time. I'm very good at this. No, I would not like to save. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dead space doesn't continue after that, huh? It's dead. The space, specifically. Uh, this is an interesting one, huh? That it just hard crashes at a at a certain load screen that it literally cannot oh, do. Let me Google. Let me do some Google. Uh, look at look at cha chapter three, hard crash at load screen. Chapter three, crash. Crash bug on chapter three on dead space. Dead space one crashes in chapter three now. Reddit. Reddit to the Reddit. Okay. Trying something. What if I turn on the terrible V-Sync just for a little bit? See if that lets me go. I don't know why this would fix it, That's but I also what don't the know. Says to do to fix it. Literally turn on V-Sync and then to, try it's it. It's defect with the V-Sync, and I'm like, no. Um. Well, now there's something else to try, but we should probably go to the BRB screen. Okay, it's the top most right button on the screen deck. Yep, that one. All right, we're going to the BRB screen. Will we figure this out? Let's bring up that. <sighs> Cause yeah, um, that's the only thing I could think it would be is some random thing with uh with the cause ultimately the VSync is tied into way too much of like uh of the game like the physics and everything and so i guess it just breaks that loading and so yeah we'll just uh we'll just set all the settings to like default um and then we'll uh we'll see if that lets us get past that that weird lighting screen. What a fun, what a fun <laughs> I can't. twist this night has taken. Remember? Yeah, just gonna put it. All right. So yeah, V-Sync is on, we're not forcing it with the control panel, which is what we were doing before. Um, oh. That buttery smooth. 30 FPS. How the PC port naturally runs. But hey, at least mouse fix is installed. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can do this, get through, maybe. And, um... Why is this game so cursed? What did EA do to it? <laughs> yeah, no, that's a that's a crash rooney. All right. <laughs> so, did it work on Reddit? No. Okay. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really should have left with that one. Well, no. Um, all right. <laughs> Look at this <laughs> unconscious child. Oh, no, she's gonna her heat it up. Oh my god. She's just she's resting her whole out. tummy against I the know. computer. Anyway, 
So she's she's living her best life. We're living something. I'm gonna I'm gonna say is a little bit below that with this dead space. Oh my god. So I guess that's all for dead space. Um, Thanks everybody. Oh my god. We got a clean two hours, and then the game said no more. It said it had had enough. I can't find anything. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if like there isn't a fix for it because at this point, EA kind of just considers this game abandoned where basically like it's not released on next gen consoles the pc port has been broken since it first came out okay so dead space chapter three crash find anything that says specifically that this is a known problem mm -hmm. but it's too specific enough mm -hmm. no yeah like it is the most fascinating of issues what do you want to do i think we might just want to call the stream here either way if we, if I can figure out how to get Dead Space fixed, we might go back to it. Uh, but we might just go try a, a game that's less cursed. Um, so you want to head that right over? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Alright, let me get that going. I'm assuming we want to go see the Sekiro. Yeah, sure. I personally want to go see the second mm. Let's do it. All right. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. For hanging, for hanging out. out. Uh, this is my first semi solo stream. And yeah, I got to play Dead Space, at least as long as Dead Space wanted to be played. <laughs> That's the thing about that game it has its own mind. Oh my god. All right. Thanks all. Mm -hmm. Let's go say hi to Helmet. Yeah. Go ahead and click that.